our first narrative focus bonus scenario. Altitude 1,400, speed 28,000, and rising. Exiting this atmosphere. Switching to thrusters. Fine. Earth. First the seas evaporated. Then Gamblin's invasive plants took root and ruined the land. Do 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 do. And to think they used to call it the pale blue dot when we were younger. Now I just wonder if it's even possible to save it. Is that a lack of confidence I hear? Absolutely not. The ship off the starboard bow. One of ours. The Kirishima. He must have dodged enemy fire, hanging on till the bitter end. Okita, my brother in arms. Don't your body spin through. But the choice is yours. If this is what you want, I won't stand in your way. Godspeed. We're counting on you. Incoming transmission from Commander Hijikata. May the seas be calm and your battles victorious. So long, Pops. Pops? Oh, um. Commander Hijikata was my guardian for a little while. I guess it kind of slipped out. I see. The earth is yours now, Hijikata. We're counting on you. We will soon pass by the moon, charting our course for Mars at cruising speed. Good luck, Yamato. The fate of the Earth rests on your shoulders. Coming from Earth to Mars, we're... Meanwhile... Ugh, ugh. Now, are you going to tell me the truth? You keep asking me that, and I have to tell you. I've told you everything that and I've told you everything there is to know. I voluntarily pounded the Vang Ray, survived the battle in it no less, and received an order to join up with the Yamato soon after. So that's what I did. You have to believe me. Hmm. You looked me in the eye this time, which goes a long way towards erasing doubt. Hmm, you looked me in the eye this time, which goes a long way towards erasing doubt. Give me for a moment. Sorry. <clears throat> I muted the wrong thing. You just heard me blow my nose. I'm sorry. I'm telling you, we haven't done anything wrong, whether you doubt what we're saying or not. I'm trying to edit that out of the replay. Easy now. There's a lot about the present situation that no one understands. As you said, Instant Kizaragi, the hatch was already open by the time you made your final approach. And ancient Rokuma also passed through the checkpoint without incident when he arrived. Exactly. But someone must have the orders during the confusion surrounding the launch. But how about instead of taking it on us, you focus your efforts on finding out who's pulling the strings aboard your ship? No strings, you say. Pose? Pose what? Pose we are, stowaways. What then? Are you going to send us back to Earth? Fine question. We're already at cruising speed. And this present is just time sensitive. We certainly can't turn back, nor do we have a craft with which to send you back. So we could stay apart then. Don't get excited. You can still blast into space like they did the Stowaways back in the day. And on New Battlestar Galactica, which the movie version of this borrows some visual, some significant visual cues from. We've come a long way since the date of exploration. We are not to lay a finger on you until Commander Okita has been informed of the present situation. Please talk to the commander. Convince him to let me stay aboard the Yamato. About the Bangway. I'll fight if you tell me to. I'll do odd jobs around the ship. Anything! Ma'am, there's a probably good... Ma'am, careful how you phrase that. There's a whole bunch of, of Dojinsi and Comic Cat that are going to show up based on that line. 
Help yourself, Mr. Kisaragi. I don't have that kind of authority as it is. That'll be all, Commander Oshina. These two are free to go. Are you serious? You've been assigned to the tactical officer for the time being. That would be me, Lieutenant Suzumi Koda. Uh, uh, Lieutenant Suzumi Koda. I've taken, respons taken responsibility for you. It, it's you! Good to see you again, Mr. Kisaragi. I wish it were under better circumstances. So, you're the Amateur's tactical officer now. It has great sunk in yet, but I aim to carry out the abilities to the best of my my duties to the best of my ability. Now that I've been granted permission to remain aboard, I too shall commit myself to the Amateur. I admire your resolve, but I have a lot of questions about the Vangray that need answering first. I need like you and Insert Murakuro to accompany me to the hangar. Yes, sir. Congratulations, Ensign Kisaragi. Thank you, sir. I look forward to working alongside you. Sorry for the trouble, Hoshina. Catch you later. They certainly got released pretty quickly. Lyactive and Security released a statement proclaiming their innocence as well. Why? Apparently, they may be allies that were rerouted. That's absurd. Either way, I think we better keep them on their toes for a bit. Running with a sending security detail to keep eyes on them, keep an eye on them. Understood. I'd keep an eye on her any day. Quit being a pervert. Officer Sonata, I brought the instance Itose Kisaragi and Soji Murakumo with me. Thank you, Kodai. Kisaragi, I am Lieutenant Commander Shiro Sonata. Executive and Technical Officer. Lieutenant Nimi and I have been examining the machine you were piloting. Lieutenant Kaoru Nimi, Information Officer. A pleasure. The pleasure is mine. I am proud to call myself a member of the Yamato crew, regardless of the process by which I became one. We'll see what the commander says about the details. For now, he's taken great interest in this machine. I would like very much, I would very much like to thank the commander in person, should the opportunity present itself. We've analyzed potential threats, but found none. Oh good, if I'm honest, it was the Vangray that saved me and gave me the power to fight back. Based on its construction, we thought it was a type of mobile suit, but couldn't find any schematics for it in our database. Which means it's a custom design made without proper clearance from the Federation. You know anything about Shitose? Tactical lab much of development, right? At the very least, I know there was nothing like it in the hangar as recently as a few days ago. It must have been smuggled in from somewhere. Whoa, 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 officer. With all due respect, it could have been a rush job, slapped together over the past few days. That's simply not possible. I feel compelled to offer that having piloted it, the main thing is quite impressive. It has as much thrust as it does for power, not to mention its own repair apparatus. I'm just not sure what they were after with this design. I wish they couldn't control the speed of firepower, but the Van Ray manages both those automatically when engaged in battle. Interesting. If it were for the Van Ray, I'm not confident that we've been able to protect the Yamato. To be fair, if you didn't have the Van Ray, you'd be standing out there on the desert with the bazooka. Go going, I'll take your freaking bullets! I'll take your freaking bullets! And that never ends well. It sounds to me like we owe this machine a debt of gratitude. Officer Sonata? Hmm. A fascinating system. If I learned to pilot it more effectively, I could become an, it could become an asset to the Force. I like your readiness, rookie. Uh, are you talking to me? I certainly am. I am Lieutenant, Lieutenant J.G. Saburo Kato, Captain of the Aircraft Squad to which you've been assigned. I'm about to get a cat on my lap. I'm Lieutenant... Uh, I'm Ensign Hiroki Inohara, the Vice Captain. Welcome aboard. Ensign Shitoshi Kurosaki, new recruit with a lot to learn. At your service. You're certainly energetic. May I call you Shitose? Oh, don't waste your time. I've been trying to get clearance to do that for a week straight with no luck. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you're going to make a great rival. I would be honored to kick your ass. Ensign Murakumo, that is out of line. That goes for you too, Shinohara. Don't embarrass the aircraft squad. Well, Kato, I've introduced I'll leave the rest of you now that I've introduced you too. But I, Amy, let's go. It's almost time for the briefing. Here's Kisaragi. You should know that the machine has some sort of pilot verification system on board. No one but you can pilot it now. You and I are going to have to analyze it if we have some more time. Yes, sir, I'd have to assist. I'd like to learn there's a lot I'd like to learn for myself. 
Very well. Please excuse me. Excuse me, Lieutenant Kata. What is the current status of our assignment? You have managed to look at your record? That meet him on the aircraft squad? Yes, some craft to assign you. That means you'll be on the reserve corps. Say what? Kisaragi's as well. That report is plenty of time to figure out how to use the Vang Ray. Understood. So, what will you have me do? We have some pressing needs in the county. You need help managing goods. I'm the woman for the job. That was one of my assignments back at the lab. Hello, Kata. Might these be the new recruits who have been assigned to accounting? They sure are. Good luck, Akira. I'm Incident Akira Yamamoto. Allow me to show you to the account show you the accounting department. Oh yeah, the accounting life looks thrilling. I'll only s I'd, I'd actually let's go back a second. Oh yeah, the accounting life looks thrilling. That's been more sleazy, I suspect, than sarcastic. I only say this once, Murakumo. If you so much as lay a finger on Akira, you'll have to take him with the entire aircraft squad. R Roger that. L loud and clear, sir. Don't worry, Ensign Kato. I'll keep an eye on Ensign Murakumo. Think that you do, Ensign I'll reward you with combat training. Yes, do. All right, let's go. Okay then, let's go. I'll start by introducing you to Lieutenant Hir Hirata. They're quite the eager new recruits, aren't they? Indeed. I wouldn't want her to die if I were you. What are you trying to say? Like what Akira, she seems to she still seems to have an interest in the squad. Can't let her suffer the same fate as Yamamoto. Not ever common follow to not. I on common to not, I think you're worrying a little bit too much. So, Aki, where is the Yamato right now? Hmm. <clears throat> what are the Yamato's coordinates at present, Vincent Yamamoto? You were heading to Mars. Mars? Like on the way to Iskandar or something? I don't know the Pacifics, but suddenly we need to stop there to restock before continuing. Um, Anthony Yamamoto, can I ask a question? Akira is fine. Akira is fine, and I'll call you Jitose instead. Cut it! Thank you, Akira! Hey, what's with the double standard? Now, what was your question? I'm afraid to answer, but I notice you have red eyes. Are you from Mars? I am. Arcadia City, in fact. Between the Jupiter War and Gamla's attacks, I heard almost everyone had returned to Earth. Which makes me wonder what business we have on Mars. Well, this will answer that question. And with this being a, a uh, base inspired by a Liji Masumoto interface design, we have a. It's not clear exactly from the, the picture here, but the but this would be a majority. The, for how this would work in the war room is this wouldn't be people walking around the sides of the room on a express screen. People would be walking across this large display. They use a similar display in uh, space in uh, space pirate Captain Harlock. Ladies and gentlemen, even at the speed of light, this journey to Iskandar would take, and back, would take 336 years. 336,000 years. We're in it for the long haul. Yep. We have to make that journey in just one year. Hmm. How do we... In order to do this, we have to surpass light speed, traveling instead at warp speed. These just wanted to call it ludicrous speed. That'd be just dumb. We'll open an artificial wormhole and use it to travel substantially faster than the speed of light, emerging on our destination on the other end. I'm, I'm not even an expert, but is that even possible? Theoretically, yes. If our timing is off, however, it's entirely possible we could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Remember this. This will come up later. In other words, we must be extremely careful when using the wave motion. Unfortunately, we left Earth without one of the parts needed to ensure the engine's safe operation. No, I get it. The part we need must be on the Martian base. Earth has already run out of the resources and equipment needed to build a proper starship. This is spaceship. Starship is a better term here. We believe, like, we have other spaceships. Like, this is a still a functional spaceship. If we were just operating within 
the uh, solar system, we'd be fine. It's interstellar thing where it comes an issue, hence, star, hence why I'm correcting it's a starship. We believe the only capacitors capable of driving the wave motion engine are on Mars. And even if there are enough troops left on Mars, we wouldn't have to land, even have to land. They could just send it to us. In your dreams, there isn't a single soul left on that rock. Mars was declared officially deserted after everyone emigrated and the army withdrew. Some people have fled to Mars now that the gamblers have spoken with their attack on Earth. Now that you mention it, your crew was stationed on Mars in order to make contact with this Kandarian en envoy, wasn't it, Kodai? After this mission, I think I'll wrap up. We were. Now that Mars is no longer under attack, some people are still try are trying to eke out a living there. Remember, you have an obligation to save the other planets of the solar system if we are to save them. Yes, sir. What's wrong, Mo What's wrong, Mori? Boss has been to rest on Mars, is All alone. Yes, yes she has. to the Pirates of Mars. We completed our descent. We'll have visuals on the Altina base, Altinia base shortly. That's definitely the Altinia base site. Looks like we're in for a lonely landing, though. We can't waste a lot of time. Let's get the materials we need and get back to work. I'm picking something up on radar. It's a... Bubble suit inbound. Based on the type, it belongs to the, or it belongs to the Jupiter Empire. Impossible. I thought they got wiped out in the Jupiter War two years ago. That would be in Crossbone Gundam, which was a novel and manga as a sequel to Mobile Suit Gundam F90, F93. Or F91. Um, I have the movie, I haven't seen it yet. I was waiting until after I finished watching Gundam Unicorn to watch it. I finished watching Gundam Unicorn. I'll be watching that soon. Um, so there's that. Jupiter's ghosts have resurrected Mars, haven't they? Based on the circuit situation, looks like there's commandeer of the Altinia base altogether. Commander, the Jupiter Empire has entered combat preparations. Aihara, open every communication channel we've got. Yes, sir. This is Juzo Okita, commander of the Earth Federation forces Yamato. We require materials from the Altinia base for a mission of great import for all humanity. We wish to negotiate the materials we need. They're attacking! Guess they're not open for negotiating. We're forcing our hand. Wait, Commander. The Yamato was designed to fight on fight against the Gamblers. Turning its cannons on humans would... The Yamato was made, built to make the journey to Iskandar, could I? You would do well to remember that. Human or not, they are obstacles in the journey to Iskandar. Even if they're from Earth, we fight evil, Kodai. But, look, the Jupiter Empire is based on Zeon. It's like... The next step off from G uh, off the Xeon forces. We can work with this. I say it again. We fight evil. Especially evil to find its way into people's hearts. Get to your battle stations, everyone. Battle to reclaim the Altina base. Altina base begins now. All gunners, prepare to fire. Gunners, prepare to fire. Let's crush all opponents and stand in the way of our progress. That's an order. The enemies or lose Yamato. You must kill... No... For a map, before a map clear, you must defeat you must defeat at least four enemy units with one ally pilot. If an enemy is killed by support attack, that counts towards the pilot for support. But that that's the tricky bit here, is four enemies with one ship. With, with, with one pilot. One pilot, four enemies. So we're not. So it looks like I can't deploy them yet. So that was one ally unit, not just the ship itself, to fully evade all attacks for one battle. I assume that means one one attacks. Analyze, increase damage to one enemy by 10% for one turn, and decrease the damage to an enemy. Bullseye, choose the accuracy by percent for one turn. Just for the uh, Galado. 
Leave yourself up. Oh, it's actually how it can use itself. This turn will work. There's no really a turn limit here. Okay, so now we're going to show off a really cool new thing with the, the ship has. Pulse laser. Attention crew, this will be the first substantial battle of the Yamato. However, we must not lose sight of our mission to travel with Isk Iskandar at all costs. Think of this as a mission to, to not to eradicate our enemies, but to extend our lives. So that, oh, that missed! Okay. So the Yamato has a force basically has shields. Called the wing Yamato got our first crit here, basically. Nope, nope, you can't do that. Okay, so I can't deploy anyone yet. Those are ammo based powers. A couple of these have. Crater tile, so we actually have a so we have defense bonuses now. Haha. That only works if you the, the your death only brings glory to Jupiter if you actually hit something. One shot. Okay, you guys are squishier. That's two. The aircraft flying to be deployed. We have no one to do so. 
I would understand the call for a gamma. The fact that we're physical suit says to me we should be out there too. And Oak does consider this into a combat test for the Omicron. We can't have more signals on the radar. More, we have we have more mobile suits in battle. Uh, enemy reinforcements? No! The Crossbone Gundam! Does that Gundam have a skull on it? Commander, they're... Crossbone Gundams. The Crossbones, the same pirates who righted the enemy in the Jupiter War. Can't believe they're on Mars. Your division of the Gundam, reading verbatim. This is Tobia Aranax of the Crossbone Vanguard. We've got your back. Thank you for his cooperation at once. I sir. Kodai, deploy the task force. Uh, more Falcons, Gordon, sir? Negative. The Vangre, Gurungus, and Hukubi and Huck Huckabeen. Understood. Why are they sending so many troops to Mars? The Jupiter Empire using Mars as a stepping stone to attack Earth? Mobile units, fall in on, the, on the outer position. You'll be able to turn the tide of battle in your favor if you remain within easy reach. If you drift too far out of range of the Amador's comms, you're gonna, we're going to be in big trouble. Now, you were just supposed to travel the Incas Iskandar. Now we're teaming up with the Gundam Pirate to fight the Jupiter Empire on Mars. It's cr This is crazy. Well, when you say it out loud like that, yeah. <laughs> you can't let the Jupiter Empire walk all over this, though. They'll destroy Earth. Wait, but was it almost just a not a about the pilot verification system? But there's something about it I needed to know. I'm in Kisaragi. This is the captain speaking. You have one order. Make it back alive. That is all. Roger that, Captain. You have my word. Buddy, Velt, are you ready? Ready and waiting. Our opponents are on the Jupiter Empire's mobile suits. You found the easy to remain wary of the path of the Pez Batala and its formidable Russian capabilities. Oh, it's the German guy. should do the accent. The latest squad, we support together, we want to make it back safely. To prepare, we're not going to make this 336,000 light year journey. Can't see me! <laughs> I thought I understood yourself with some humans, but upon witnessing it, my, upon witnessing it myself, I am enraged! I cannot comprehend how much. You can entertain such selfish thoughts in the middle of an alien attack. Mein Gott in Himmel! Lottie is defending the Yamato. Okay. Okay. Let's see if we get to show off the uh, um, armor this time. Nope, you still can't hit this. You can't hit nothing. That's three. I'm representing the entire aircraft squad. I'd better be at peak performance. I'll take those two other guys with you, but yeah. Well, then, Ray, we promised Kata we'd make it back alive. We'd better make good on our word. Can't see me! Thank <laughs> you. 
And the cracking the crossbone Gundam. XB Gundam X1 Kai Kai. So you can't hit me. Arg at the Urg, the Jupiter Empire. I think they can use Mars as a stepping stone to attack Earth? I have no idea what voice to do with you because you've never gotten voice acting before. Well, you, or you didn't get an anime. You've gotten voice acting in games. I don't know what's happening. There's no point in torturing the Earth anymore. And I got a kitty. Yes, it is a new type. Most Gundam pilots tend to be new types. Even though the Gundam themselves are not deliberately to be designed to be new type only mechs, with the exception of the Unicorn. Oh, the Unicorn and um, Amaro's mech from Shara's Counter Attack. And that one had funnels. So now we're seeing here, attack, again, attacking the same target multiple times builds up the, the chance of a hit. Come here! Hey, go to the cable this attack on. Didn't quite kill him. But hey, I think that's the liquid is. Maybe I'll like give him a chance to, you know, leave. You softened up, but not dead yet. Man, you got nothing. The three heavily softened up. The cusp are going to be me again. I, I like the idea that these guys, in fact, these guys in the past have done really well ejecting after these fights. And that they just keep repeatedly over and over to getting beat by Tobia. Um, so, before we bring this. So the Yamato's gotten three kills. One more kill will finish off. We'll complete the SP. We'll, we'll get the SP. So let's just. Let's just drop you real fast. Yeah, as if you couldn't tell that they were in fact Zeon. So it was like the Zeon successors. And SR point complete. Flawless. So this was like the work under Juzo Okita, Earth's greatest commander. Like that SP point, really easy. Like that was like the last one, really easy to get, and you're probably going to get the Yamato just because of those first two, that like the first couple rounds. Don't fall asleep with the job, Kodai. You've got to confirm that the battle has that, that battle is ended. Yes, sir. Do this. This man at the helm. It doesn't matter who or what stands in our way. All right. 
So we're with him. Um, you can actually move an attack after. Killing enemy. So if you get a crit, you can finish him off. Not quite enough. Okay. I can just shoot you from right here. I, I 100 percent shoot you, kill you from right here. And leveled up. I still have a kill, let's just use the, the, the rail gun. Are you able to crit? That, that, that's not a weapon that can one shot these guys. But it can finish off. It, it can either like really soften someone up or set or finish somebody off. Crossbone Gundam's turn! Well, since you're right here... You make your way to support units. And that's what's all you. That's all my guys. So in phase. I think killing an enemy unit reset when one of the ones who targeted you resets your the, uh, build up of percentage. Uh, this is the uh, kill version of the variation. All these attacks will have a variation of their animation if you kill somebody. They have a crit and if they kill somebody. Repellent tank! Nice. So I'm gonna show all this though after the fight. I'm gonna show this off real quick. Through web. It's not actually a web, it's a whip. Or it does do like a drill thing, I might call it more drill whip than anything else. I think I'm just gonna finish off this fight this round. Like, 
Good things have gone here. Basically, the crossbow Gundam or the Yamato could have gotten to the previous objective. As everybody, fair kit. Enemy forces eradicated. The Altidia base is officially liberated. Now we just need to retrieve the Imperials inside. I want to know more about the Empire's movements. Ihara, make contact. I don't know about the moves. Ihara, make contact with that Gundam. Yes, sir. Incredible. I mean, I heard the rumors. I've got a front row seat. Gundams are no ordinary mobile suits. Even that is a pilot's gun, I would expect the pilot has a considerable skill as well. I'll say. I mean, look at those moves. Is that gun for the boy? Sorry. Now you've got me doing it! If that gun were the boy the Yamato, he'd be pretty powerful. And... Briefing next mission. So, things on Earth really are that bad? Yes. Yamato launched to try and turn the situation around. And the disasters of the Jupiter Empire mounts an invasion like they did a few years ago. The Federation couldn't stop it, could they? Aranax? Copia is fine. Can I ask you a question about yourself? Go ahead. I was still at officer school during the Jupiter War, but I heard about the exploits of the crossbone vanguard space pirates. And it turns out they're as pirates younger than me. You were just a boy during the Jupiter War, right? They're asking, asking about the pilot of the X-1, I mean, or someone else, Lieutenant, Lieutenant Kodai, who did fight the Jupiter War as well. Thank you for clarifying. I wish to thank your crew for taking on the Jupiter Empire in place of the Federation. I had no choice. If the planet bomb, if the planet bomb had arrived, well, the planet bomb had arrived and the Federation had its hand full with the Gamelus. Now things are even worse. My crew and I have taken up the Gusco and Vanguard mantle from Bararona and her crew. We're just doing what we can. Rich survivors from Gamma's ravaged colonies and battle those who would take advantage of chaos in order to rob others. We originally supported those who escaped to Mars as part of the endeavor, but that proved difficult when the Jupiter Empire appeared, reappeared. Are they going to invade Earth again? I can't say for sure. The Earth is crippled. They'll just waste away if they don't attack it. What's the point? Crux Duggety, Supreme Leader of the Empire, was after a very personal type of revenge. And he wanted to wipe out the Earth in order to satiate his bloodlust. Now that he's been defeated, however, I can't think of anyone among those who remain who share such an all-consuming rage towards Earth. And yet, here they are, the building an army on Mars. Certain weapons have taken catastrophic levels of damage. After all these people have been through, after they tried to escape from Mars. Mars. We fought all we had, but the X-1 was the only decent suit in our possession. That said, we were also we were able to destroy the Jupiter forces that landed. I don't think they'll learn any more about their plans unless we pay their stronghold a visit. By which you mean a visit to Jupiter itself. What do you say, Kodai? Here to hire us as your guides to Jupiter? Did you say hire you? You could think of us as your bodyguards. You could even get them get them to make the first move. You said a course that goes right by Jupiter. I don't have that kind of authority. I can't send the Yamato to war with the Jupiter Empire. Let me rephrase that then. Take me and my crew to Jupiter. We don't have a means to reach Jupiter ourselves, but we can't let the Empire rest if they are in fact rebuilding. This was your angle from the start, wasn't it? It's not the worst idea though, is it? In fact, it's kind of a win-win. You might be right. I'll speak to the commander myself. Have you finished talking, Lieutenant Kodai? Yes, Officer Nimi. Did you find the in wave in motion engine capacitor? We did, thankfully. Tokugawa's engineers are already working on it. Good. It sounds like we cleared the first hurdle. Oh, and I brought someone aboard. How did it go, Tobia? Lieutenant Kodai says here he'll make a proposal with the commander for us. Are you also a member of the crossbow guard? I'm burning it. Briette. Thank you for taking us to Jupiter. Wait a minute. What does she mean, us? 
We are the only ones from the Crossbone Vanguard that be traveling to Jupiter. Valuing members remain on Mars as survivors and defending it from the Empire. If you go to Jupiter, you'll be... Let's... I've been on Jupiter before, Captain. Let's just say I'm the Crossbone Vanguard's resident expert on Jupiter. If you've watched Gundam Unicorn, you might have an idea of where they're going with this. I hit the spelled out the next line of dialogue. Or you could say I'm Titanith Dougherty, daughter of Supreme Leader Crux Dougherty. You can't be serious. The official wears of the claim Tux Do Crux Dougherty the daughter, but I never would have guessed that you'd be at the heart of the group, group that brought the Empire down. That is precisely why I can't stand idly by while the Jupiter Empire rebuilds. Understandably, I will alert the commander to your presence as well. Thank you. So, the Yamato is venturing far beyond the Milky Way in order to save Earth. Important side note here, by the way, I want to mention. The Crossbone Gundam characters have a different art style from the from the original characters, super, original Super Robot World characters, and the Star Blazers characters. That is a really nice touch. Like, Bernadette's blush is shaded differently from everyone else's. And do our part to protect the Earth and the Empire, lest their journey be in vain. And intermission, I think... Yes! New scenario, Trial by Fire. We will play that next time. Actually, wait, go back for a second. New parts I want to show off. The crossbones will be staying with us for the long haul, so I can install some stuff here. So we have... Actually, let's go to... So what part we have here is propellant tank. It recovers 250 energy to a unit. Um, Gurren Goost has 270. Also, Gurren Goost is a super robot. Super robots, a lot of their powers are fueled by energy as opposed to ammunition and stuff. So, propellant tank is really useful for this kind of thing. It's going to be the V-Defensor compensates for some of the fact that... Uh, super robots are, when it comes to evasion, are kind of crap. But they can take it with lots of hit points and lots of armor. And then the repair kit, the fact that they burn through a lot of their energy super duper fast. So this gives a bit more range. And then... Oh, by the way, I mentioned, these only used once per map. In earlier games... Pellet tanks and repair kits were expendable items, like a potion in um, Final Fantasy or other similar game series. You had a repair kit, and then you used it, and it's gone. In this game, they replenish. I'm not going to use this on the Vang Ray, because it has healing abilities already. But I will use it on the Kai Kai And now, I will save my game again. And this is a good place to wrap up for the week. I've been streaming for two and a half hours. Got several episodes worth of fun content here. Emblems here, but any of those yet. So, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.